Wherever you go in Madison County, you hear more stories about what happened here. Within seven or eight minutes, it had uh, gone from maybe two feet high out here, a foot and a half or something like that, up to probably eight feet. The Nicewanger family has lost just about everything. Their house is literally filled with mud. At one point, the river rose to their second story bedroom window. And although most of the water is gone, the massive cleanup now begins. Well, I'm just tired, <laughs> tired of, of walking in the muck and trying to find stuff. These personal tragedies are repeated throughout West Central Virginia. The magnitude of this devastation is widespread. That is why the Virginia National Guard is searching from the sky for any signs of trouble. So while flood victims try to pick up the pieces of their lives, this is something they do not need. Officials say another heavy downpour could make matters a lot worse. It's estimated that 80 bridges in Madison County have been destroyed and another 200 have been damaged. This bridge was taken out totally by the river. And so was this brand new 4x4 truck. The rushing water lifted it up and carried it a half mile downstream. Just more examples of the power of Mother Nature. The way floods go, it's a hit and miss sort of thing. One person's house could be floated away, their next door neighbor could be untouched. You just don't know what's going to happen. The State Emergency Services Department estimates damage statewide from the flood of 1995 at $100 million. In Madison County, Chris O'Connell, News Channel 6.